room where uh, I've been slowly changing it over to my office and uh, memorabilia room for Zap and the Masons. I'll give you a quick little walk around in here. That is my certificate from the Grand Lodge of Pennsylvania to teach Masonic education in the 15th Masonic District in Northeast Pennsylvania. That's my Pennsylvania Nurseryman's certified uh, nurseryman. Over here we have the class zap picture for 1975 and that's a picture of when I was head of uh, Council of Princes of Jerusalem as Sovereign Prince in 1985. That's going back a long ways. And then we have some other pictures over here of are you doing a presentation of the Constitution in Factory Villa Lodge number 341? And some other pictures of when I was thrice potent master in 1997. Well, what I thought I would do today is show you a little bit more about the piano itself. Now that it works, I thought maybe uh, it'd be of interest to a lot of people to know a little bit about player pianos because uh, this is technology from the years past. So to give you an idea what makes this work are the pedals down here unless you want to turn it on electronically like I have it hooked up and then you don't have to pedal it anymore. The bell bellows pump air up through the tube to the main console up here what they call the upper stack that has a spool box on it and it has the the hoses to hook up to all the individual keys of the piano and then you have over here in the corner you have the wind box that actually drives the roll when it's playing and that hose comes up from the corner there uh, this whole setup is run entirely on air it's no no electronics involved in it at all uh, it was meant to run entirely on a, a complex system of uh, 88 bellows and other assorted bellows that actually make the music as you pump the piano. So we're going to play a tune that most Zaps have heard before and it's not Columbia the Gem of the Ocean and it's not the Zap song but I'm sure everybody will recognize it when they hear it and I'll try to pick up some of the motion in the piano so you can see how this actually works when it's playing. In case you're wondering, that's me in my old Zap shirt from the 70s. And like I said before, I lost 70 pounds and it fits perfectly. And I'm planning on wearing it for the reunion.
This little contraption here synchronizes the paper with the, the harmonica. So if there's any deviation in the paper, it pulls the paper left or right so it plays on all the notes. And this is the spool box. Uh, when air goes through any of these little holes here, that's when it plays. I don't know if I can try and do something here or not to show you how it works. pass my finger over each one of those holes the air is sucked through the hole and as a result it works through the mechanism through all the bells and it makes one of the hammers hit the appropriate strings and this is all run on pneumatics uh, probably something that is totally unheard of nowadays because everything has to be electronic nowadays so it breaks and has to be replaced uh, this is a 1921 Steve player piano it's 95 years old. I doubt, like hell, if there's anything made today that's going to last uh, that long anymore. They're still making players, but they're either totally electronic or they use CDs. Uh, and they're getting away from the roll, so this is fast becoming a real antique collector's item. Thanks for enjoying this with me. I'll be happy to be seeing everybody in, in uh, September for the 100th anniversary. Have a nice day.